We're going to be demonstrating our generator at a prestigious university. And before we ran our generator test, we thought we'd run one final test here to verify everything that we thought we had, we actually do have. Now again, I'm using the three-phase drive. It's only 200 or 2,200 watts. I've got my software set up. You can see the Himmelstein. And I've got an Excel spreadsheet where I do my calculations. Now I'm using a single um, water heater element stuck in a bucket of water. Now the idea is to drive using this three horse motor to drive this generator, the one that I've designed and built. And there it is right there. And what we're going to do is we're going to measure the current and the voltage simultaneously so we get an understanding of how how efficient this unit is. Once we have that, we're going to take the reading of the uh, RPM, we're going to use the standard formula and get a uh, understanding of what the efficiency of my generator is. This is the latest generator. It's designed to run at 2400 RPM and it puts out easily 10 kW because of what it is, but what this little setup here, this three horse motor cannot handle that generator and we can only get it up to like uh, 22, uh, 22, 2300 watts uh, before the drive kicks in. Now the problem, the limiting is the drive and the um, motor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start it. You're going to hear the generator, you're going to hear how quiet it is, and you're going to see the numbers. Now we're running 193. I'm going to run it up. We're at 203. I'm going to put that information in. So I put that information in the spreadsheet. I'm going to monitor the RPM. It's running 1195. 1195 and we're at 15.2. Now what happens is the drive can't keep up with it. efficiency. You've seen it live. The faster I turn it, the more the more efficient it becomes. All you're hearing, the only noise you hear is from that big motor. This is purely RPM sensitive as far as the, the um, efficiency goes. You can see right here as I've done the whole test, we hit 90% at, let's see, 595 and we ended up at 94.7%. We are ready for our test at the university.